Hi guys, our today video free study in Italy and how to get the scholarship from Italian university. Before starting this video, I am requesting all of our viewers kindly subscribe our channel so that you will get the notification of our coming new videos. And this video is made for Chinese student, African student, South American country student, a Russian student and student from South India. Since we are receiving lot of requests from them regarding making this video in English so that they can understand how they will apply the admission in Italian university, how they will apply the visa, how they will get the scholarship. As well as those students and parents who have dreamed to provide higher study to their children in foreign country, but they have a budget problem. Even they have no awareness, many of the European university have the same tuition fees as private university in India. Moreover, this video is also made for those students who already study in private university in Europe. Now they want to transfer to another public university within Europe where tuition fees as well as the living expenses will be economical. Before starting this video, we will discuss about the fact and figure of Italy. Italy capital is Rome. About the population, population is 60 million. About the area, area is 300,000 square kilometer and it is the fourth largest area in all of the European country. Italy have four borders, Switzerland, France, Austria and Slovenia. These are the border country. About the currency, currency is zero. About the religion, Christian is religion. About the national game, football is the national game of Italy. Now we will discuss about the economy of Italy. Italy is the largest economy in the world. It stands third in Europe and fifth in the world. And Italy economy is depend on the seven sectors, seven industries, which we will discuss. First one is tourism, motor vehicle sectors, technology sectors, agriculture sector, food processing sectors, textile and footwear. These are the sectors where Italy economy is depend. Even more than 50% economy of the Italy is only depend on tourism sector. Since every year more than 34 million tourists are visited in Italy and Italy stand fifth in the world where maximum tourists are visited. And now we will discuss about why Italy is provided free study to the international student. Three factors that reason Italy is provided free study to the international student. And first one as everyone known that Italy is very famous for their brand, for their inventions. For that reason, they are invited international students. They will come in their country. They will take free study. After completing the study, they will make a new invention, new research. And that research and that invention will directly boost their economy. This is the first reason they are provided free study to the international student. And second reason about the negative growth. Italy new generation is not interested to give the worth to children. This is the another reason. Third reason, bigger graphical hole. Area of Italy is very big, but population is very less. This is the another reason Italy is provided free study to the international student. And now we will discuss why study in Italy and what are the benefits after completing the study in Italy. First number, world class education and research work and all the program are taught in English for the international student. Wide range of education option for the international student. Student can get the admission in any of the stream as per his or her previous qualifications. There is economical fees as well as many of the universities are provided free study to the international students. All the program are taught in English and 52 world ranking universities are located in Italy. Rome is the world oldest university which is located in Italy. Italy passport is the strongest passport which stands fifth in the world. This is the another reason. Italy is a non-English speaking country. Even that, more than 50,000 students are coming for further study in Italy from 60 country. It is the another reason and it stands 10th in the world where maximum students are going for further study. And it provides 18 month post study permit after completing a study even during study student have the right to do part time work and student can do the part time work up to 20 hours in a week moreover student can bring their spouse and dependent children when student will get the student temporary residency permit even after completing the study if student will do the job there or do the business there and he or she will continue that business up to four years or do the job up to four years, he is eligible for applying the permanent residency. Now we will discuss about the study program. In Italy, we can organize the admission of any of the student 
in bachelor, master and PhD program. In European country, bachelor program is called a first cycle and master program is called a second cycle and PhD program is called a third cycle. And we, our company can assist to the student for organizing the admission all of the streams. Now, firstly, we will discuss about the humanities program. The student who did their previous study in humanities or in arts, we can organize his or her admission in any of the Italian university, in history, in European history, in global education, in social sciences, in hospitality and political science. In all of the humanities program, we can organize the admission of international students. Now we will discuss about the engineering. The student who did their previous study with non-medical, we can organize the admission in all of the engineering program. Either it is a aeronautical engineering, either it is a marine engineering, either it is a civil engineering, computer engineering, architecture engineering, power engineering, environmental engineering, all of the engineering program, we can organize the admission to the international student in Italy. Now we will discuss about the business. The student who did their previous study in commerce, for that student we can also organize their admission in all of the program, either it is a BBA, either it is a international law, either it is a MBA, whatsoever we can organize in Italy. Now we will discuss about the medical. The student who did their previous study in medical stream, for that student we can organize their admission, either it is a MBBS, pharmaceutical, nursing, whatsoever in medical stream we can organize the admission to the students there now we will discuss about the intakes in italy there are two intakes first is a feb and second one is a september september is the major intake in italy and uh, for september intake applications has already been open now we will discuss how to get the admission in italian university what are the documents are required we will discuss about the list of documents which we need from the student side so that we can easily organize the admission from the any of the Italian university. We need the student passport, student to photographs, student all of the academic document, student to recommendation letter, as well as student ILTS or MOI. MOI means medium of instructions letter. If the student did his previous study in English medium, then there is no need for ILTS. If students last study is not in English medium, then we need a ILTS with minimum 5.5 band as well as the CV and CV should be as per the format of European countries. And how to make the CV of European country, our company will assist to the student how they will prepare the CV. And after gathering these all of the document, we will send these all of the document at least six to seven university in Italy so that student can get the admission easily because in Italy there is too much competition for getting the admission since every international students want to get the admission in Italy since Italy is provided free study as well as provided scholarship to the international student for that reason our company will apply at least seven to eight universities for organizing the admission after the admission in Italy universities, what is the further process? We will explain in this video, which is also called a pre enrollment and DOB. Since we are receiving lot of calls from the student, they are asking what is the pre enrollment and what is the DOB. Now I will explain what is the pre enrollment and what is the DOB. DOB is stand declaration of value. This is the process to verify the document by the concerned consulate of your jurisdiction. The embassy will verify your all of the academic document as well as your admission. This process is called a DOV as well as the pre-enrollment. How to do the DOV and pre-enrollment I will explain in this video also. We need the student last study document. If the student completed his or her last study bachelor or 10 plus 2, this document should be verified, should be authenticated from the Ministry of Human Resources of your jurisdiction. After authenticated of this document, this document should be apostille from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of your respective country. After apostille of this document, these documents should be translated in Italian language. After translation, we need to take the prior appointment with the respective consulate of your jurisdiction of Italy regarding the pre enrollment and DOV. After putting the mail to the embassy, embassy will give the prior appointment to the student on that day student will come with all of the document which document student will bring while he will go for pre-enrollment as well as for the dov to the consulate in which we need the student admission letter 
to pre-enrollment application form as well as the document whatsoever verified from the HRD department as well as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and that document should be translated in Italian language and student passport copy and two photographs. These are the documents student will bring with him or her while he will go to the embassy for pre-enrollment. And embassy will take a one little bit interview. They will ask a general question why, how they will get the admission, why they are going there, whatsoever. And our company is very expertised and our company will explain everything to our prospective students how they will do the pre-enrollment, how they will do the DOB, how they will give the interview. After collecting all of the documents by the embassy, embassy will take one month time for verification of all of these documents. Embassy will send the email to the respective authority who issued that document. After getting the verification report, they will call to the student that your DOV and pre-enrollment document is ready. And student will collect the document. After that, student will put his or her application for visa. And for visa purpose, what document we need? We need all of the student academic document, student admission, student pre-enrollment and DOV declaration whatsoever issued by the embassy as well as one bank statement. In the bank statement, minimum 7,000 should be there in the name of parents or in the name of student. These all of the document we need as well as one travel insurance. Uh, that should be one year valid and uh, two motivation letter, one bona fide certificate which should be issued by the last attending institution and evidence of English either IELTS support or MOI medium form instructions. After taking the appointment with the BFS student will submit these are of the complete document to the BFS of the respective jurisdiction. After submitting this document, sometime embassy will call to the student or straight forward give the visa within 30 working days. These are all of the process, how to apply for admission, how to do the pre-enrollment, how to do the DOB. Now we will discuss about the scholarship, which type of scholarship Italy is provided. There are so many type of scholarship in Italy, but we will discuss only two scholarship which is applicable for the Indian students. First is the investment your talent. This is the scholarship for those students who have a very excellent background in academic. Second one is the Beaker Section Scholarship. All of Indian students who belong from Beaker Section in India. We need a list of documents that we will discuss which document we need for organizing these type of scholarship. We need a first income certificate, second document property paper or residential proof, third one family member certificate and fourth one bank certificate. These four documents we need from the student side. And these all of the four documents should be signed or authenticated by the concerned deputy commissioner or magistrate. After providing these all of the document, our company will help to the student how they will get the scholarship, where he will apply the scholarship. Since our office is located in European zone, which is located at Poland, and that office directly licensing with the public universities in all of the European countries as well as the government agencies who are provided scholarship to the international students. This is the one reason. Second reason, after completion of the study, if student want to settle in any of the European country, our Poland office will assist them how they will get the residency, how they can start the business in all of the European country. And third one, our company exclusively dealing with public universities in all of the European Union as well as we have more than eight year experience about the student visa of European countries. These are the reason student will apply through Crown Immigration. In this video, I have covered all of the aspect about the free study in Italy, how to get the scholarship. If you think this video is very informative, please, it is my request, like it, this video as well as share this video. Thank you.